let us know if you can hear us. I know there's a bit of a delay. So uh, we're just trying to work little glitches out again. Another new setup that I thought I'd try this uh, this time round. So it seems to be uh, a little bit better. We can hear you. Nailed it. Wonderful. Don't uh, look at that because that's well late. <laughs> well, I've just noticed you've left uh, the exercise bike. <laughs> well, I need some because I need to lose a few pounds after this holiday. Well, we're generating electricity here in Yorkshire by a, a, this pedal bike and that's all that's keeping this live going so i aren't buying solar panels they cost <laughs> too much money <laughs> so if somebody's giving me a bike we, i've been out yeah. of the skip <laughs> we've got we've got this little bike i can't believe i didn't even notice i've i've been in the kitchen entertaining my dad for about an hour he's had quite a lot of beers you might be able to hear him in the background but he's, he's pretty well hammered so i didn't even real i've just come and sat down and didn't even realize that jules has to be fair, I didn't realise because I couldn't even get it all set up until the last minute because I've had the paddle. Super. Anyway, hello everyone that has joined us. I know Anne and Gary are there and Oliver's there and Dan and Ian and a few other people are dropping in. Keep pedalling. Andy's room. What trips. I can do at the end, I'll, I'll, I'll turn it a little bit if you want. I'll have a little go. No, no I won't. No, 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 we won't. So yeah, so thank you for joining us, those that are here. I know it's a Friday and people have got better things to do, but... Hopefully the bad weather's kept people in. I don't know what it's like where you are. I mean, to be fair, we're quite lucky. It's not too bad here for we're sort of on the borders of North Yorkshire and, and Skipton. So we're doing we're doing quite well for us. But yesterday, as you know, we, well, you might know, we've just been away for two weeks. We've had a, a top time in Lanzarote. Gail and Mark Cooper were there and Deb and Steve Loveford. And we've had a great break, haven't we? Had a lovely um, break, yeah. But we'll go into that in a bit. But we had a, a moment of absolute terror on landing at Leeds Bradford yesterday afternoon because obviously it was pretty cold and frozen and there was a fog and you just we circled for it must have been a good five minutes we were circling obviously it was deciding whether to come in or not oh my god as we came down you could not see a thing and we hit the runway and the brakes went on and uh, I've never been so glad to land to be totally honest so yeah and then it was so cold, I was worried that Fudge might die at the kennels. So I made Jules drive up to Harrogate to get him. And then we got home with him, didn't we? Dog with the thickest coat in the world. Yeah, and... but it's cold. Yeah, well. But he was so excited. So we got him home and that was that. So anyway, we digress. So yeah. Thanks, so... thanks Caravan Blogger. Yes, she does tan quite well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, Still no. I've been on this pedal bike. <laughs> I'm just a bit flushed. And we're under these lights. Yeah, but uh, hello, Bob Earnshaw. Thanks for joining us. Well, whilst, uh, whilst she's now weekends, doing that. Um... Just to say, this is basically, it's an update. Um, it's an update video for 2019, what we've got up and coming, what we've been doing, what we've mm -hmm. just done and what our plans are. So if you're wanting to follow us and uh, keep involved, then this is the video to be watching. But we've also got a little competition giveaway, which is mm. really good, yeah. really good. Um, we got contacted whilst we were on holiday. Um, and just asked if we wanted to give some uh, tickets away. So we've got three pairs of tickets, but we'll cover that a bit later on. They're to the Addingham Village show. <laughs> They're not to the Caravan show. It's the Addingham Village show, but you'll enjoy it. It's a good laugh. My dad will be there. He'll be hammered. Uh, but no, we have got some tickets to give away to the February NEC Caravan Camping and Motorhome show. So we'll come to that. But yeah, so since we saw you last, um, we went off on a short trip down to Bath and then we came home and we prepared for our four week Christmas holiday trip, which was definitely needed at that point, wasn't it? Um, we set off at the start of December. And we went to, we went down to collect our Adria, which is still down in Dorset. And we went to a little CL for a week, didn't we? Yeah. Um, Ernie's Plot, it was called. Lovely little CL, yeah. not for an eight foot wide. Just not for an eight foot wide, 8.24 8 metre long, van, no. Yeah. Thankfully there was nobody else on this site, um, thank God, because nobody else could have actually got anywhere further down the site. Apart from one motorhomer that came halfway yeah, through, was testing night. it out, but his maiden the, voyage. The pitches, I mean it's a lovely site, but the pitches were really small, and we barely fitted on it. Well, the A-frame was stuck out into the lane still on the site, and it was so wide, we were literally an inch from the electric bollard, which was in the middle of the pitch at the back, which wasn't well positioned. And I had to wrap it in a tea towel in case a gust of wind shook us and we hit it. So, apart and we couldn't put the awning up, could we? No. 
So yeah, that um, oh, and it was. And so, we left the tea towel there as well. And we left. Oh yeah, I left you. Know. That was my checks. Didn't but it was right. it was so sloping. I mean, God, we had us fully jacked up at the front. We we're up on the ramps, and that van we were nearly two feet off the floor at the front. It was quite. It was quite. It was quite a sight, really, wasn't it? So we had a week there, and then we uh, hitched up, and we dropped the Adria off, and we headed to Longley, where some of you will have noticed we had a Bailey Phoenix. And we tried that out for the three weeks we were at Longley, weren't we? And we had a brilliant time. If you're thinking of going to Longley, I know quite a few a few of us met up there, which was like a bit of our Christmas holiday. But if you're thinking of going... Genuinely. Right. It is fantastic. The site was brilliant. Um, the wardens were brilliant. Longley was great. And we did the Festival of Lights. We actually spent some money to go to the Festival of Lights. And it was it was so worth it. But they had, they, they had donuts. <laughs> they had donuts. Had a hot dog. And hot dogs. They had animals as well, but I was a bit less interested <laughs> in those. But yeah, it was brilliant. Um, and we had a we had a great time, didn't we? Um, we had a, such a laugh. And it was lovely because like Dawn Allard was there. Obviously, Oliver was there. Gareth was there. Uh, the Hardens, Dan, uh, Andy Demolish. and his family. Um, and then Anne and Gary rocked up at the end, just when everyone left. Because... They're a bit posh, Anne and Gary, and, and they, you know, pick and choose who they mix with. So I don't know why they're, they're knock about with us. But yeah, so they rocked up, didn't they? Because they'd been away. Um, and it was brilliant. But we ate loads of Weatherspoons, loads of McDonald's. <laughs> I tried cooking food. Um, and we just had a really good time. But if you're interested in Longley, don't don't even put it off. Absolutely brilliant sight. And, and just that Longley itself was great. Before, so, before we get another comment and I lose it all, I don't know. I think it's Pietro. Thank you very much. We do intend to keep vlogging and vlogging as much as we can. Our Adventures New Zealand. How's New Zealand? Wow. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. That's brilliant. Um, and, oh, there we go. Freddie loves the dinosaurs. Oh, so, look. Little uh, Freddie. From, I don't uh, even like children. Gareth, sure. As most people tell you, I'd, I'd probably say I'd quite happily feed a child to fudge. But, oh, that little lad. He was... Was he two, two and a half? Yeah. And he was obsessed with dinosaurs and he just ran around roaring like a dinosaur. I was really impressed. Yeah. He's going to be you a know. good rugby player, player yeah. just like his <laughs> yeah. dad, I think. Yeah, he probably won't be a man of many words, but he can roar really well like a dinosaur. So what a lovely little kid he was. Bob Jones says he's lonely. Is that where you got your claws from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Since I left work, I decided to grow them ridiculously long because... She don't work anymore. For years, I had to conform to her to many rules and regulations and now I'm just going against the grain and going the other way but I'm sure I'll get over that but it's just like a it's a momentary thing I think mm, I'm still talking though but uh, you're lucky you're still <laughs> married to me but uh, yeah so we, we did that didn't we and we had a great time yeah um, brilliant absolutely super and uh, thank you to everyone that made it great for us because with, with mum passing away sort of beginning of November we were a bit worried about Christmas that it was going to be a bit of a a difficult time but it was brilliant we had a fantastic time so thank you to everyone that came along and um, we had a lot of fun on social media over christmas didn't we um brilliant laugh so thanks to everyone uh, that partook in that so what happened then we then uh came home didn't we we did yeah briefly we came home and yeah br well a couple of weeks we came home um, and we sort of put together a bit of this stuff that we'd gathered while we were down there with the vlogging and stuff. We did a few reviews and then we, our friends were getting a motorhome at Preston Caravans, Anne and Mark, um, they were getting an eldest motorhome. So we went over to Preston and we had a look at the Swift Rand, didn't we, to carry on with our theme of eight footers. We're going to bring some more of those to you. I know not everyone's interested in eight foot, totally get that, but we do know a bit about those because that's what we've got. So we're going to, we've looked at the Pegasus Grand, we've looked at the Swift Grand, and we're going to have a look next at the Buccaneer mm. and bring you some of that from the show. So we're going to have a look at that. And just to cover that, we've got a blog coming out about the Swift that we did. We've done the vlog already and that's up and you can see things about that. We've mentioned in there, we just love looking at caravans. We love looking at products. We look in, look, love looking at awnings. We love looking at gadgets and everything. It's we're a not, free day out. We're not in the market. <laughs> For anything else we are absolutely yeah. ecstatic with what we've got uh, as some of the comments i think i saw we, we're not spoiled brats and we're not looking to upgrade yeah, and yeah we've worked like really hard to buy everything we've got actually, so but, we, we yeah. do we do appreciate everything we've got but we'd love bringing this to you so people that 
are less mobile or want to see something different um, and want to just log onto a computer, have a quick look around, research it like we did before they buy stuff, that's why we do it, for the love of it and to bring stuff back to you. So that's mm. that's why we're doing what we're doing. And hopefully from comments like that, you know, they're, they're chokers because I love them. You know, we, we love blogging, we love vlogging and we love bringing you the stuff. So that was just to sort of cover why we're going round, sort of looking at these. It's not because we're looking for anything else or anything better. We're just yeah, because not everyone wants looking. an Adri. I mean, I can't understand why you wouldn't, but not everyone does. So, and there's something out there for everyone. So yes, yeah, so we went to Preston, had a look at that, and then we packed our case and we've just been to the Canaries for two weeks. As I say, with the guys out there, had a great time, didn't we? It was it was nice to get away. Um, and then we got back yesterday on the flight from Hell into Leeds Bradford. And that's where we're at now. So we are doing the live today. Um, we will have, we're going away as of probably I think Wednesday next week. We are heading back down to get the Adria in Dorset. Um, we'll have a night stopover and then we'll be hitting Brighton, won't we? It's all news to me. I just. Turn Jules up. just turns up. So our first sort of proper caravanning trip is going to be down there. Um, and we're quite excited because Anne and Gary are coming for some of that trip as well, all being well. Um, weather permitting, they can get out safely. So we are really looking forward to that because Anne will have shortbread, I'm hoping. Um, and I like Anne's shortbread. So. Dawn Alad said, thanks for the apple pie. I didn't even know you'd nick that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, was, yeah. that was my pudding. Yeah. At Longley, I cooked an apple pie. and. Um, you say cooked. Well, I heated it up in the oven. And I also had like, I'd done a test, an Asda delivery, I think it was, and they'd run out of the custard I ordered. So they got, I got like about 12 gallons of custard and I thought, what the hell am I going to do with that? Anyway, luckily, I find out Dawn likes food as well. So I really, like proud as punch with this apple pie, trotted around there, gave them the apple pie and six litres of custard, got back and Jules said, where's the apple pie gone? I was like, uh, I took it to Dawn's. Yeah. I've got to be honest though, as big as I am, I am a savoury person, so, yeah, so, so I, rest I, assured, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not, apart from shortbread, yeah, and like I love your shortbread, yeah, but, uh, no pressure, but, no uh, pressure, so yeah, so, glad you enjoyed it, John. Shortbread, you yeah, so, so we're <laughs> heading off down there, um, we're also, while we're there, we're then going up to another site, and we are seeing Ian and his family from Caravan Gossip, um, I think we're actually having a romantic Valentine's evening with them. I don't know if Zoe knows about it yet, but surprise, we are having a romantic night with us. Uh, so I hope you enjoy that. We're just trying to move around everybody so we don't get any, like, any harassment warnings or anything like that. Yeah. So we've been with Mark and Gail for quite some time yeah. now. And, and now we, we thought we'd burnt our bridges there because we've been in for them so long. So now we're going to go and sort of doss it. I mean, uh, go and see Ian. Go and visit. visit so, uh, yeah. So we're going there and then we're going to the NEC. And we're staying on the site up there, and lo and behold, John and Tina Cook are going to be there, all being well, so we'll be catching so up we'll with be them. So we'll be living with them. So gonna, <laughs> yeah, I hope they've got shortbread. Uh, but yeah, so we'll be seeing them, and we will be at the show. We're planning at the moment to be at the show just about every day, I think, um, is the plan. We might have something in the pipeline in relation to the show as well, but we'll keep you updated because I haven't heard back on that. Um, that could be quite exciting. So we'll let you know, but we are going to be there. We're really looking forward to the show. I know there was a lot of hype for the October one, and it, it really created an atmosphere, and we loved it, didn't we? We had such yeah. a laugh. There, so, was a, there was real buzz there. Yeah, there was. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully everyone will drop in uh, and, and see us uh, there as well, and we can catch up with quite a few folk and have a bit of a laugh. As I say, we have got three pairs of tickets to give away for the show. And we're going to tell you in a minute, because once I've told you, you'll all be off, but I'm going to tell you <laughs> how you can enter to win a pair of the tickets. We're going to give a, um, a set away on Twitter, a set away on our website, and a set here on YouTube. So six in all, but it's three pairs. Um, so we'll come to that in a minute, but um, we're, well, we're hoping at least then you've got something for nothing, which is always nice. So we're going to do that. We're going to, we're going to keep it quite short as well, because if anybody's like us, yeah. You want you want to have your tickets well in advance yeah. so that when they're posted out, whatever messing about. So we're going to do it from today till next Friday. Friday lunchtime. You will know if you've won. Anne Brooks is not allowed to enter the competition <laughs> because she has won every competition in January. I've just seen she's just won another one. I know. She? She's won a muggy carrier now. 
and and you can't even go to the show because you'll be on your posh cruise, Anne. Yes. And if you can't go, you're not allowed to enter, is the rule. So. And Alan Scammell, if he's listening, <laughs> he seems to win everything as well. Bless him. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll give someone else a go. Um, so that's sort of where we're at with the show. After the show, we are heading home, I believe, for a short time, because I've got to take my dad, who's getting louder in the kitchen, uh, to Manchester, because he's going on a cruise um, around the Caribbean. I dread to think. But <laughs> Peter, can I hear the telly? Uh, no. no, that is my dad. That's, uh, yeah, yeah. Everyone can hear you, dad. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. If anyone wants no, to, don't, shh, don't say that. If anyone wants a 69 year old man, <laughs> uh, solvent, that's about all I'm saying. Um, after the show, we're going home for a few weeks, and I've got to take my dad to the airport, joking aside, and then we're hitting the road again, and we may well be at the Warner Show at Harrogate, which is at the end of March. Um, that's the first of the Warner Shows, I believe, that kicks off. This, that one in March. And then the there next There's a link one. going in the uh, chat. Yeah, that's see it. those shows. I'm sure Bob Earnshaw will be there. I know he generally likes to get around all those shows. So there's that. That's the first one. And then April, um, the next one I think is the one at Peterborough, if I'm not wrong. So we'll hopefully be getting to the Manche uh, the Harrogate show, and then we're going to hit the road, and we're actually heading back down to Longleat. This um, is all subject to change. This isn't in stone. But this or is our whatever. plan. This is this is very fluid. And then we're heading to Devon, and we've got loads booked in over the next few months. Um, we're hoping to get to a number of sites. We're hoping to do some more site reviews because they seem to go down quite well. I like to see where I'm going before I get there. So one, if I'm towing, well, because I am towing because Jules can't. But if I'm towing in, I want to know what the roads like, what the sites like, an idea of the pitches what the facilities do look like. So we'll bring a few of those to you. Hi, um, Kelly's Kilts. Hi, for the love of caravans. So, yeah, we'll be bringing those to you. Our next review is actually going to be the Duvalet mattress. Back in October, um, we went to the Duvalet stand because we've had a big problem with our mattress. Well, I haven't. Well, I'm a big problem. <laughs> Jules is a big problem on our mattress. Back in the summer, very quickly, we noticed Jules had sunk <laughs> into the mattress, to say the least. Well, you couldn't get out of the dip. No. So, Steve wants to see me on the exercise bike because I'm a girth in the dip. <laughs> he needs to go on the exercise bike. It'd be cheaper than buying a mattress. But yeah, so we got, we went to the stand. As a result, we ordered a Duvalet sprung mattress. So not one of their foam ones, um, a sprung one. I prefer a sprung mattress. So we've gone for that. Um, in the vlog, which will be coming, going out, all being well, probably next weekend, um, we will report on our findings on that mattress um, and give you an idea, because obviously then the Duvalet will be at the show as well, so it might be useful to have a bit of an idea about how it's gone with that if you're interested um, in a new mattress. And obviously for some of you larger chaps, it might be the future if you're having a problem with foam mattresses. It's a thing um, for caravans, you've just got to grow a bit, haven't you? It's... Well, yeah, it's dangerous way. though. Like, well, I'm enjoying it. I know, but <laughs> it's like we can't stop eating. Yeah, well. But anyway, that's oh, that li Jules's next little project as well. Once uh, we get away again, he's he's gonna, well, you know, you'll take the mick about my tin to tum in two minutes. Well, Jules is going to start cooking. He's going to start a weekly. I'm I'm going to give it a go. See what happens. I'll do it on this channel. Um, but I'm just going to do a yeah. Uh, Tin to Tum Tuesday, I think it's going to be. So every Tuesday, just a couple of minutes. I've got a few ideas for what I'm going to do. So it's going to be Kadak inspired. So hopefully quick and easy and bits and pieces like that. But what we've tried to do is, if you haven't sort of noticed, we're trying to keep it more regular now. So we've got something going up every Friday. So every Friday, every Tuesday. However, um, it is sort of subject to things like this week we've been away. So we're doing a live instead. So hopefully this is our upload. That's what I mean by putting it up on Friday, but yeah, yeah. Well, Jules. So yeah, so Jules will be. Um... What could go wrong with that? Yeah. Lots of you. Yeah. Because set it on fire. Yeah, I won't be doing the cooking because, well, I'm not really. I'm all right. Yeah, I don't cook. No, I do. But you're best with the caddock. 
So I'll leave you to... That's a little idea, something different. We thought we'd uh, give a go and uh, please let us know what you think and uh, see how it goes. So let's cover the competitions then and then if anyone wants to ask some questions they can. If not, you can all carry on with your Friday night <laughs> and uh, leave my dad to it. So... Have a McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> I love McDonald's. Absolutely. You're right there. And, and I know the love of caravans. I know you, you were interested in the mattress as well, I think, weren't you? Because... Um, You've had maybe a similar, similar issue with them not quite being um, supportive as you'd hoped. So you might be interested in the the Duvalet one. But anyway, let's just get back to the competition. So we have three pairs of tickets. Okay, to enter this competition, I must say that it's not connected with YouTube in any way, and you must be able to attend the show on one of the days from the 19th to the 24th. It doesn't matter which one. To enter, you must be happy that we will give your contact details to the organisers of the show so they're aware of who's won and who is going to come and collect the tickets because they're to be collected from the NEC. We won't be posting them out. We'll just turn up on the day. They'll know who is coming to collect them and that's that's basically as difficult as it is. So for GDPR rules, I think we just need a name and an email address just to be able to verify. So it's not going to be everybody who enters, the details are sent. It's just going to be the winners so that they know exactly who's meant to be picking these tickets up. Yeah. So those are the, I think those are the few bits and pieces legally wise that we've got to go through for a giveaway uh, because I've been looking about competitions, lotteries, giveaways, but because YouTube's all American, you need attorneys and oh, it gets blah. So, yeah, so we'll Jules just has not got away. a lot to do generally, so he's been uh, reading <laughs> up on all sorts. Says the one who's been sat out there while I've been setting all this up. Yeah, well, you like this stuff. You're a gadget man. So here we go. So the way to to win on YouTube. In the, the comments, <laughs> yeah, the way to enter, well, the way to win, you've got to enter to win, but if you wish to enter, on the comments, on this vlog, you once need, it's finished, once, once it's finished, before midday on Friday the 8th of February, you need to add, if you won, who would you take with you and why? It's as simple as that. We will then use an, a sort of an auto-selecting um, But it's an auto-generator for the comments to pick a random winner. So we're going to do that. I'm going to film it and I'll probably put that up on Twitter or something like that just so it's impartial. We'll, we'll, do, it to, we'll do it together and I'll just film it as it's done. You'll, I, I also want you to put at the start that you want to be entered into a competition. So just put, um, I'd like to win and then who, who and why because people yeah. might want to comment but not be entered. So, so, just who, so who you take and why and that's all you have to do on here. If you want to enter on Twitter, it will be on our Twitter account. Is it on yet, or is it going on? Twitter should be should be going on just after the just after this. The blog was scheduled to go on <coughs> at eight o'clock as well, okay. so that should. So on Twitter, in. our Twitter account, our Here We Tow Twitter, the same on there. You just got to like it, retweet it, and say who you'd take, and we will do again the same uh, random selection on Friday next week. And if you want to win you can go onto our website which is www.herewetow.co.uk there is a blog if you go on the blog um, bar and you'll find a blog in relation to this competition in the NEC and again on the comments on that blog you just need to put in the same who you take and why so next Friday we will shall, shall announce three winners uh, via our YouTube Twitter and website and then We'll do it as a post on YouTube, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll sort it we'll out. Sort well, it we'll contact out, the winners so. anyway, and you will then collect. You will let the NEC know, and you'll collect your tickets there on the day you want to go. I think and something else we've got to say: you do not have to pay to enter. And oh, what else was it? It's free to enter. You don't have to pay to enter. And I wouldn't worry too much. No purchase necessary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No Get purchase. In there. Yeah. Although, uh, yeah, I hope you as well like Jules's new top look. I've stitched that by hand myself while in Lanzarote, while I sat around the pool. And Mark Cooper, no, you can't take your two fishing girls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd take my two fishing girls. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, Gail and Mark um, were quite entertaining. Mark, <laughs> every morning we met for a coffee, and, and a couple of mornings ago he disclosed that he'd been having a rather... Interesting, M interesting night. dream. Um, I think it was a bit mucky, but he was awoken from this mucky dream by two men having some form of verbal altercation outside. 
Um, and he was gutted because anyway. he was about to get lucky with, with a certain lady in his dream. Well, Gail wasn't impressed. But, but Gail did meet a man, didn't she? <laughs> and he actually, a couple of mornings ago, came round to their apartment at 4am um, and tried to get in. And the police came. So, Mark and Gail having quite an interesting time, aren't they? Bless them. So I hope things are better for you guys. But Mark, you're not taking your two Fisher girls. That's, uh, that's definitely not happening. So there we go. So that's us all up to date. If you've got any questions, stick them in the chat. We can answer those whilst you're here and now. Um... <laughs> yeah. Funny Mark's buffering now. <laughs> you would be Mark right at that point, wouldn't you? So... I think we're up to date with where we are and where we're going. Yeah. Yeah, we'll say we've got loads coming up, but I won't bore you with it all now because, um, well, we're months away. But that pretty much takes up for the next couple of months. She says um, months away. She's planned up until sort of this time next year. Well, yeah, yeah, I have, but it's, uh, it doesn't people aren't going to want to know about that. <laughs> so there we go. So yeah, if no one's got anything else that they want to ask, we will put my dad to bed. Um, <laughs> And uh, venture off home for a quiet night with Fudge because we have missed him. We really missed Fudge, didn't we? Any progress on the Peak District to meet up? That's what you put out, wasn't it? Yeah, I was looking. Just canvassing for ideas and yeah, thoughts. Yeah, we were looking around um, the 13th of July, I think, got mentioned. Um, so if people are interested in that, I'm quite happy to, for us to all look at putting something together. Um, Karina so. has got a here we toe top. It's just she's yeah. always cold. Yeah, I've so got, I've got one instead. like this. And I've got a t-shirt and it's got a great big one on. I wore it at the NEC in uh, October. And I look a bit like Ironside. Apart from, or like a giant care bear. Yeah. Just a quick one as well. Whilst we've got 66 people, it says watching. Quick mention about Torah Fest. If you haven't booked up, uh, we are now into 2019. Um, so... If you haven't booked up and plans have changed and you can now come, then the I think that will be finishing very, very soon. Well, it's definitely finishing February. Uh, we'll be closing off the deposits and everything else uh, for a bit of a roundup and a sort out. So there will still be a chance. But if you haven't already, please, please, please get, get it all booked in. Uh, we need an idea of numbers so that we can sort of sort that out because um, that is something that we're sort of still actively three, on with. Three in the pitches background. left, I believe, Dan says. So, um, so there you go. Yeah, and Bob Jones says about the mattress and having a bad back. Mine is knackered, is my back. Um, it's been good for a long time, but on holiday my disc did pop out and I fell on the floor. In agony. In agony. It was rather embarrassing. But Jules did tell me not to spill the drink. I was just getting out of the fridge. Pepsi Max hasten to add, not alcoholic. Um, I was getting a bottle of Pepsi it's Max. It's even worse, isn't it? And, uh, and it went <laughs> rather and... A, rather have a beer. And I fell on the floor, didn't I? On my knees, yes. like a big giant five-year-old, and it was not funny. But I'm back up and running. So a, a good mattress makes a massive difference. If I have one night on a bad mattress, I will know about it. So we'll see how my back goes on that. So there we and go. Dan said one week to go until the closing date for the first round. And Ian, thank you very much. Yes, she would love one. If you want to buy a, a Here We Toe hoodie, then uh, she will greatly have one of those. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm... Um, it's a lot like a jacket as well and maybe some gloves to match I'm quite happy to wear and a hat yeah I'm quite happy to wear the full outfit and also um, Martin Davis his new motorhome is now built and be delivered to the dealership this time next week I'm genuinely excited for Martin because last year he was so excited about starting motorhoming with his grandkids and it was great to see them at Tora Fest and then they had a few issues and he's been disappointed, hasn't he? So he's well, purchased a different one. So, you know, yeah, it's... and I really hope it is everything you want. Um, I'm sure we'll see you about. Um, keep us updated where you're heading, because say literally, we are touring all over um, this year. We'll see you at Tora Fest, I'm sure, anyway. But we are all over. So if anyone wants to join us anywhere, just let us know. Just We're up for a while. Quickly, going to say whilst we're quickly looking down. Um, the, there will be an email coming out to you, I believe, with the remaining payments for Torah Fest. So if you have already booked, thank you. Genuinely thank you. That's brilliant. Uh, we will be emailing you soon with um, the duration of your stay, how many people you're doing, and working out sort of exactly what the outstanding balance is going to be. So that will be coming very soon. 
Yeah, I'm looking forward to Tour Fest. I know some people can't go. Oh, and it, sorry, Dan, I've just seen your comment. And it is, um, it is further down, um, which, you know, we're going down there. It was a really good event, wasn't it? And again, the charities that we're raising money for are certainly worthwhile. Um, so, Absolutely. You know, I think for me it's it's worth going, but we appreciate it's a long way. Um, and that's why hopefully if we could even just do a bit of a meet-up northwards, um, it would be it'd be great for a lot of people, wouldn't it? Because, I mean, a lot of people, it's, it's sort of a lot of people are down south and it's in, sometimes the north gets sort of overlooked a bit, um, which is why we like to, the show, look at companies like ProTech and Duvalet. We might have a, a company based in our village that's coming to see us on Monday with some products. By chance, they're actually in our village, which couldn't believe it when they got in touch with it. It was just, they had no idea where we were. And I was like, yeah, you're five minutes down the road in the village. So, um, you know, there's some good stuff in the north. Um, I've run out of things that are good in the north. but So rest assured, yeah. we are trialling and testing things. And if we think they're worthwhile, then we're bringing them to you just so that you've, uh, you've, yeah. you've got those options there. Um, we're now going to wrap up. <laughs> because yeah, my dad's got the telly on now. <laughs> he's going to go full blast very shortly. So um, that's it. Jules, you need to get on the exercise bike and generate power. Clothing for fudge. Clothing for fudge. Do you know what? I don't think fudge would be... I don't know. Would you be excited? I know years ago, my mum had a German Shepherd, a big white one called Diesel, and he was scared of everything. Not like fudge, he was fearless. So my mum bought <laughs> Diesel a Thunder Buddy yeah. shirt. And, uh, and the other problem was, he went out in the garden in his Thunder Buddy shirt... <laughs> And some bang went off and he crapped himself and ran and he tore his Thunder Buddy shirt to chuff on a bramble bush. So we're not buying dog. No. I remember that. Fudge can go naked. I tell you what though. No, good. Dan. No. <laughs> what, Dan? Can we have a hello internet from your dad? <laughs> no, he's not, he's not even got his teeth in anymore. No. He, he keeps threatening to buy a motorhome and come to home me. Yeah. That right, would super. add a right. whole new dimension to it. So, um, so yeah, he can yeah. shout it out. What yeah. do you want him to shout, Dan? Well, it'd, it'd be a bit muffly with him not having his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, night. Oh, Mark Cooper's got got heat stroke and he's tired. I've got to be honest. This is as anybody who knows us. This is well past our bedtime. Yeah. And Mark, Mark must have sat up specially because he goes to bed at quarter to six. Oh, I hope you're all right, Mark. Seriously, um, it's not much fun when you're not well. I'll see if I can get my dad to... Dad? No. <laughs> dad? Yeah. Just shout out, hello, internet. Say what? Hello, internet. Hello, internet. There we go. Hopefully you heard him. Cheers, Dad. <laughs> That's it. That's your cameo. No problem. <laughs> We're taking him back to the home tomorrow morning. He's been out long enough. 24 hours, day release. Get him back. Why, I own the home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you own the home, Dad, but that's why they look after you so well. I think I signed that document to the wrong person. Right. <laughs> On, On that, that note. note. <laughs> right, thanks for watching. Seriously, good luck in the competition. Even if you don't win, hopefully we'll see a few of you there because so we're going to be there nearly all the time. Um, and Jules is going to switch us off and uh, we're going to head home to bed. So thank you so much, everybody, and take care. No, he's not. <laughs> so, who, who are you doing that?